All right, so we're gonna discuss levers, and this is the build up to the handstand for beams or floor, but right now we're gonna do it on the beam. So we're just gonna have the kids start in a lunge. Good, and then once they can do that and have both weight, equal weight on both feet, they're gonna do a slight lean and come back up, balancing them on foot and finishing back in a lunge. Again, once they can do that safely multiple times, we're not rushing them through, we wanna keep the safety side of things, then they're gonna do a lever. She's gonna touch the beam, put weight on her hands, come back up to that lunge and finish. Good. And if you need to spot this, you always spot the hips. So I'm gonna help her spot at the hips. I'm gonna help her touch. I'm gonna come back up and follow it through, holding her. There you go, good example. All right, so then once they get that safely, they're gonna do a giant lever. So both feet are gonna come up, but they're still gonna stay in that split shape. Good. And then um, obviously we're gonna do these on the lower beams first. Introducing it in the high beams, not the safest, but she's taller, so we gotta get her up higher. So um, once they have that, then they can do the baby handstand where they just tap their feet together. Okay, so the beginning of the side handstand just now. We're gonna have the kiddos always be spotted first. You can start on the low beam, just make sure there's like a soft mat for them to land on. They're landing with two feet. So she's gonna start in a lunge, kick up to side hands up, I'm gonna hold her hips, and I'm gonna pump her down, and I'm gonna hold her when she lands, so that way she doesn't go over backwards. Okay, try that by yourself. Same thing, when she do it by herself, then she's gonna come down, holding the beam when she lands, and now, ultimately, what they're supposed to look like once they get really good at this, and obviously we've spot them many times, is a true side handstand all the way up and down. All right, so we're gonna talk about some elements for beam. So the straight jump or stretch jump, I like to call it stretch jump in front of the kids because they're thinking about stretching their body really tall in the air. So she's gonna start, arms down, and she's gonna swing her arms and stretch her top and push her heels back down in the beam and absorb that landing and control it. Very good. All right, so we're gonna move on to pivot turn. Have the kids have their hands on their hips is fine. Up on the balls of their feet. They're gonna turn on the balls of their feet all the way around. And then they can come down after they finish the turn. Um, and then a little bit more difficulty adding this is that you're gonna start in elevate and then do a squat turn. So up on toes, down to squat, turn, finish the turn all the way, then stand back up. 